All right, what is going on, everyone? So today in this video, I'm going to be discussing Supreme Week 3, and I'm going to be discussing the most hyped items from this drop list that we're going to have. So I'm not going to be going over every single item, but I'm going to be going over the ones that I feel are worth discussing. So the ones that, you know, will probably, well, the ones that are going to be the most hyped will have the best resale, most discussion around them right now, and the ones that are going to sell out the fastest. So hope you guys will enjoy this video. You can subscribe below if you're new, or drop a like in this video, or you can do both. That would be appreciated. But anyways, enough hold up. Let's get into the video. Okay, so the first item and the most hyped one according to like votes on Instagram and just discussion on Reddit and other places like that. The most hyped item is going to be the Air Force One mids, the NBA ones, and those I personally do not like them, but but in both colorways, black and white, they have been pretty hyped up and people are pretty excited for them. I just don't like the whole idea of, you know, them being like scattered all over with all the teams. And I completely understand that this collab, like a kind of collab like this, is pretty hard to design and come up with a good idea, like including teams and stuff like that. So I don't feel like they did a bad job designing it. I just do feel like it's sort of lazy. Like, let's be honest, I've said it plenty of times. It just seems like anybody can sort of just scatter logos over and call it a collab, I guess. So I just thought the collab is sort of lazy overall. But the Air Force One mids aren't terrible. Retail at 165 dollars and i predict the resale will easily easily over 200 it's gonna be way more than 200 i'm sure again i'm not gonna give you guys a range so i'm not sure but no it will resale so that's all i need to know there but i'm not really a huge fan of them i'm not sure which of those two colors will be most hyped i would assume it would probably be the black ones because that's just a typical thing that i see from others is probably the black ones because they're easier to style or maybe the white ones i don't know it could be either one but both will do well but with that being said first item most hyped one is the supreme nba air force one mids Okay, so next up we have the SIGG Traveler water bottle. Now, this is going to be retailing at $36. You guys obviously see it on the screen right now. And again, I'm going to say it's sort of cool because you know you have Supreme going right down it. And yeah, it's pretty basic what I think. Now, it's going to resale. I predict when I see items typically like this, I remember I had a mug and now it's going for way more. So I don't know what this water bottle could go for. I know initially it's probably going to go for like $80, $90, maybe $100. That's what I'm thinking. So a bit of a range there. But I feel like it may go up in time. Again, I can't guarantee that like the mug I had originally has gone way up in value like um, it went from like the hundred dollar value I sold it to all the way to like two hundred forty dollars so I don't know if this is exactly like the mug but this item will probably do well um, I mean again it's the second most typed item we have according to like all the polls and votes and stuff so that's what I think right there I'm not again I feel like I'm a fan of it I think it's a cool item it's very basic very simple and that's where it fits my style I'm not someone that goes for a bunch of crazy things usually so I'll probably cop this if I can obviously you just gotta try trust on my bot to do well on that and we just gotta see hopefully nothing will crash because I don't feel like this Supreme NBA collab is too anticipated so hopefully there won't be any lag but the accessories are pretty nice I gotta say this week that's my opinion on them but this item not bad probably $80-90 at first maybe a hundred so let's move on Okay, so next up we have the Supreme NBA shorts in the black colorway. Now, the estimated retail on these is $168. So, I mean, it's sort of a high price, but again, for shorts, we, I think last season we saw, or not last season, spring summer 17, we saw some shorts that were like 158, 168. So, this is sort of a normal price range, so that doesn't really sway me in any way. But the main thing is, I think I've seen some pictures in hand, and they don't look that bad, but again, just the whole idea of all the teams being scattered over, it just, it's sort of lazy in my opinion. And that's the only reason I don't like this NBA collaboration as I explained earlier it just seems like anybody could do it and it's not that difficult to make it so that's my opinion on this again with resale on these all the NBA items are going to resale well you have to face it like people are going to hype this up because it's a one big organization brand whatever you want to call it with another clothing line or you know just brand again two sort of big brands collabing they typically do well no matter sort of what it is anybody will really buy it and then hype it up so I don't know what to say on these shorts I feel like shorts can resale decently so I feel like this could probably go for 250 easily probably Probably more than that. That's my thoughts on that. So sort of a nice item. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the NBA collaboration, but I do like the shorts and the black colorway. Probably my favorite item. But yeah, let's move on. Okay, so it's this next one I actually wrote down on the sticky note. So make sure I say the name correctly, so I'm just going to read it out. The Kaweco, I probably butchered that, AL Sport Ballpoint Pen. Now, this is the pen that everyone was talking about, like the pen. It, I believe it just says Supreme, like right on it, center, like a little box over right there. So people are sort of excited about that. But it's $68 for a ballpoint pen. So again, I'm not going to spend $68 in a pen. I'm sorry. And, and you have to add shipping to $78 in the pen. I'm not going to do it. But again, if you're trying to resale this, I feel like it'll do fine. The accessories are going to do well this week. That's my thoughts on those. Accessories are looking pretty decent this year, actually. And, I mean, I'm sort of excited for these. But, again, I'm not going to spend $78 in the pen anytime soon unless it's, like, one of one, which is not a one of one item. This is just 
any item you can really pick up at a drop. So, I mean, again, it's a pen, it's sort of cool. You know, you can then become a hypebeast while you're at school. Just, you know, when you're riding, you're like, oh, I'm a hypebeast now. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not going to spend $70 in pen, so I'm going to drop this item. But in terms of resale value, again, I don't have a really estimation on a pen, but it's going to go for more than it retails for. That's just pretty obvious. It'll go for more than 100 Um, I mean, that's just sort of like the lowest. I feel like someone would sell it to you for like a steal at like 98 But it's going to go for more than that. That's my thoughts. Probably like 120 130 is what I think. I don't know how much a pen can resell for. So it's sort of a cool item. I'm not going to buy it because I'm not going to spend that much in a pen, as I've said multiple times. But let's move on. Okay, so next up we have the NBA jersey. It's going to be retailing for $228, and the most hyped one is the one in the white colorway. Now, my personal thoughts on this, again, just the same idea. I'm going to explain it one more time. The scattering, it just seems like anybody can do it. It's sort of lazy in my opinion. However, I'm not hating because, you know, the jersey is sort of cool, but, I mean... It just, again, I'm wondering where, like, the full creativity is. Because I feel like a designer definitely make a really, really good piece out of this. And, you know, we did see, like, early pictures, J.R. Smith modeling it and stuff like that. But I don't care who models it or where it's made from or what brands are making it. It's just trash, I'm going to be honest. Like, because, again, one more time, anybody can do it. Anybody can make this. I can make this. I'm sure I can. I can draw. I can draw a bunch of NBA logos on a jersey and put Supreme on it somewhere. And I mean, again, it just anybody can do it. So that's sort of my thoughts on this resale. It'll easily be over three hundred dollars. So retail two twenty eight. It's going to be reselling for more than three hundred. I'm sure, maybe more. Oh, definitely more is what I think. So I'm not going to buy this item. I'm just I'm not feeling it. So not a bad item, but one of the more hyped items. So let's move on to our final item. Okay, so the final item from the Supreme Week 3 drop list in Springstorm 18 that I'm going to be discussing as I consider one of the more hyped items is going to be the NBA Satin Jacket in the black colorway. Now, for the Satin Jackets, there was two colorways. There's a black one and a white one, and there was also a denim one, which is not in this most hyped list because the black one has gotten more discussion overall. But in terms of the black colorway, I actually, this was, I think, more, like, this is what my favorite over the shorts. Like, the black shorts and the black satin jacket are my two favorite items from the NBA collaboration. And I don't know if I'd put them over the accessories, but I definitely put almost anything from this week over a pen that's going to cost me $78. But $328 for a jacket at $10 for shipping, probably going to be $338, which is pretty expensive for a satin jacket. Now, this is like the warm up jacket, I'm sort of inspired by like old college teams, I believe. And, you know, it's sort of cool, but again, that whole idea, you know, Supreme takes influence from a lot of other things and makes them her own, which I think that's completely fine. But, you know, they, sometimes they get really close to need to credit it, and I feel like on this item, it's pretty close to some of the old style, like, college basketball jackets that I've seen. But, you know, I'm not going to hate them for it. This is by far one of my favorite items. I believe this is sort of different. Like, it's not, like, screen printed on, I believe. It's just sort of, like, patches on the satin jacket, which I think this is cool. I like that. I admire it. And the white swoosh on the back of the jacket looks pretty cool, um, especially on like the black theme and then the white Nike symbol. I think that looks pretty nice. And again, reselling this, it's sort of like one of the items that's like I'm in between on, but I feel like it will definitely go for like 400 plus. That's just an easy guess for me. Like I feel like that'd be the lowest because it's sort of a more expensive jacket. It'll probably be more limited. And I feel like this whole NBA collaboration is going to be more limited. So I feel like the sellout times will be surprisingly fast. And especially on an item like this, I feel like you could see high resale in the future on all these NBA collaboration items. But right now they may drop a bit, but then they'll go right back up a year two later I'm sure but with that being said sort of my most hyped item sort of what I think I would think would be worth picking up for resale personal whatever you think if you have other items that weren't in this most hyped that you'll you feel like will have resale you guys can comment them below you can buy them you can not let anybody know so you have a better chance of getting it whatever it is you guys can let me know down below on whatever you're going to pick up or if you're just completely leaving this week alone but thank you all for watching Anyways, though, thank you all for watching this Most Hyped Items or Drop List discussion. Again, this is a more or less opinionated video because some of the items you guys think could be more hyped, I may have not have listed. And these are just sort of my thoughts, again, off Instagram, Reddit, discussion overall, what I've heard in my comment section, opinions. This is where I sort of took this info from and combined this list. And this list may be out there somewhere, I'm sure, because I was, just got my info from all over the place. So if you guys want to subscribe below for more content like this, I do this every single week. So if you want that every single week, go ahead and subscribe below and drop a like in this video if you want to. I'd appreciate both of them because I work as hard as I can in my content and you know you guys have been blowing up the channel the last few days. We've gained like hundreds of subscribers each day and we did been hit this huge trend of just sort of getting out there. And I also say thank you guys for watching my channel every day that I post. Thank y'all for this video and see you all in the next one. Peace out.